Wildlife on modern Earth is actually quite tame. Although we've got lions, murder hornets, blue ringed octopi, giant squid, stonefish, and other dangerous creatures, it could be worse. Today, we're going to go through five, six, or seven different prehistoric animals we should all be glad no longer exist. So let's go. First up, we've got the Host's Eagle, weighing in at around 40 pounds with a wingspan of 10 feet. This is the biggest eagle to ever exist. It was four times bigger than the bald eagle and stood at about half the average man's height. The main prey of the host's eagle was a now extinct flightless bird called the moa. Um, the moa was on average 15 times bigger than the host's eagle, but that didn't stop it from hunting these large birds. Moa fossil remains suggest that host's eagles hunted them by charging at them from behind, flooring them and then crushing their skulls with their three inch talons. Haas eagles were native to New Zealand, and some legends say that moas weren't the only things on their list. Apparently, they had a taste for human children. Our previous entry was native to New Zealand, but this one hails from China. Meet the Gigantopithecus blackae, aka King Kong. These giants lived around 2 million years ago, stood about 12 feet tall, and weighed up to 1,200 pounds. That's twice as tall as a silverback gorilla and three times as heavy. Although they were probably vegetarians, rest assured, with stats like those, they could easily turn humans to paste. They went extinct around 100,000 years ago. How large was the biggest rat you've ever seen? The size of a small dog or a house cat? It doesn't matter, because the Jost Jeffo Tegasia monesi was at least 10 times bigger. These rodents lived between 4 and 2 million years ago and are considered the largest rodents to ever walk the earth. They were about 10 feet long and weighed up to a metric ton. With incisors around a foot long and a bite force of about 30,600 pounds per square inch, these giants were impressive. Fortunately, scientists believe they weren't carnivorous, so unless we wanted to mess around and find out, we'd be safe. Now. I assume we've all heard of saber-toothed cats, so their presence on this list is to be expected. This is the Smilodon, the most famous of the saber-toothed species, which lived around 2.5 million years ago. The Smilodon had 8-inch canines and looked menacing. However, their bite force was only about 220 pounds, a bit above that of humans. They made up for this deficiency with their strong and muscular upper bodies. Scientists believe they probably wrestled their prey to the ground with their strength before delivering the kill to the throat. The Smilodon went extinct around 10,000 years ago. A pity. Lastly, but certainly not least, we've got the Liviathan. These 55-foot-long carnivorous sperm whales roamed the oceans of South Africa over 9 million years ago. They had over 41.2-inch teeth and a staple in their diet was the 20 to 30 feet long baleen whales. But they didn't use their teeth to hunt. That would be too simple. Instead, it's believed they used their massive heads to ram into their prey. Moreover, like modern sperm whales, the Liviathan is thought to have had a spermacidi organ, giving them something like sonic screaming. With their incredible bulk, massive teeth, uh, and probable paralyzing sonic screams, it's clear that the Liviathan was the uncrowned king of the prehistoric oceans. And that, my lovely viewers, brings this video to a close. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and have a lovely day. Oh, but before this ends, Megalodon versus Liviathan, who wins? Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Goodbye.